So this summer we've basically been working to uh, reconstruct a trail, Trail 3, which is a portion of the O'Brien Trail, which is a long-standing trail at the Botanical Garden. It's sort of replacing another trail because it's too steep, so we're just making a new one. This one goes further into the forest and works as a gentler slope, which would be handy for visitors. It's a general improvement altogether because the original trail is kind of steep. Recently we've been doing a lot of gravel and like bringing it up here and shoveling it out and raking it out. We dig up grass and turn it over to get rid of any vegetation so we can lay out the path. We carry logs up to line up the path. Uh, we shovel gravel to dump it over to finish off the path. Uh, we dig spots to put benches and sometimes we do weeding and we cut roots. So one cool thing that we did this summer was help Chris Langmead, who's the grounds maintenance head, uh, and his staff build the boardwalk that's um, going over the boggy area on the trail. So the boardwalk is just to provide visitors with more access to the trail's diverse habitats. And it's, it was fun to kind of learn a little bit about carpentry and work as a team to get the boardwalk on. Uh, and it's really cool. It's really cool to like see how the trail has changed from the beginning because it looks completely different. This is my second year with a green team. I chose the Mud Botanical Garden because I've li literally lived right next door to the garden. I've lived here all my life and I was happy to make some improvements to it. Also, I worked here as a student groundskeeper about three years ago and I was hoping to probably work at this maybe as a full-time career, so I'm hoping this might make me a strong recommendation <laughs> for the future. My favorite part about working at the Botanical Garden this summer is definitely just being in the garden, which on a day like today, which is really sunny, you can see how beautiful it is. Um, and we just kind of realize how lucky we are to, that we get to work here. I think that my favorite part is probably like working outside. And I've never done this sort of physical labor stuff before, but it's really cool to see how it goes and like how people build these things. I think that seeing the bridge being built was really cool because I'm doing engineering and it's it's just like a whole engineering mindset of seeing how things are built is really interesting to me. So I would say that what I most take away from this project is the experience of working as a leader, which I had done to some capacity before, but I've never actually taken on a full-on kind of leadership role where I have to you know, report back to a supervisor and kind of mediate between the supervisor and the supervisor on site. Uh, so I definitely feel that I'm a lot more confident about myself uh, and also much better at kind of working with different people um, and yeah, making sure that things can get done and trying to help others if there's any issues. This summer, I've learned a lot about teamwork and team building skills. And those types of skills are something that I'm sure I can use in the future. I have some experience in physical labor now, which is pretty cool because a lot of girls don't get that. A lot of people don't get that. Overall, this has been a really great experience and I'd love to come back next year. I recommend this job for anyone looking to make some money and learn some new skills over the summer. So working at the Conservation Corps and working at the Botanical Garden was a really good experience. Uh, you definitely get to meet uh, a lot of new people and you definitely gain some new skills. Uh, and it's just a really nice thing to do. You're working uh, to preserve our, our environment or our culture, so it's a really good program and it's a really good opportunity.